Hello and welcome to part 37 of my Let's Plat of South Park The Stick of Truth. As promised at the end of part 36, I did a really quick bit of research. Turns out there's not an awful lot about this ship that you can miss. Um, but I'm, I realised I've not explored this way just yet, so I'm going to do that. Um, white power crystal required. So I think to get through there, I have to free Randy. If I'm correct. Yeah, it's looking like there's nothing else I can do now except for free Randy. I was right, by the way. I'm pretty sure I didn't go to that hobo level last time. Did I, I read... Oh, thanks, Craig. I've not been on this menu for a bit. Um, that there's actually a hat that I apparently got from the hobo. Which I think might be this one. Mental shielding, minus 25% damage taken from aliens. Let's put that on. Let's absolutely put that on. Alien suit. Shield that blocks two hits at the start of combat. Why am I not wearing that? My god. Gain one PP when you block an attack. Why am I not wearing them? Oh my god, this alien technology is the best. Alien Ray Gun. Perfect attack reduces shields by five. Hits a complete row of enemies. Yep. 10% damage. Perfect attack. Scatter. Okay, that's kind of good as well, actually. Mongolian bomb. <laughs> Alien Pro. Um, I think that's kind of handy. I don't know. We're going alien themed. You know what? We've everything's been alien themed, so we might as well make that alien themed as well. Right, Randy, what do you want? Great, you made it. Okay, use this panel here, and we can all go home. What panel? Where? Oh, okay, this panel here. I'm guessing. Oh. Remember this from last time, guys? From last episode? Yeah. <laughs> Still, did, I didn't find out if that was just a... If it if it is genuinely only centered in Europe. I doubt oh. it somehow. Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks, kid. I don't know who you are or if you're real, but consider me your friend. Until we meet again! Okay. He's off. Give me that. Wow, we never checked that, really. Wow, there's loads of this stuff going on in here now. All these chips and stuff. Oh, you know. I opened that in the last episode and was like, hey, I can't get through. Ugh, idiot. Nice. Anything else? Nope. Okay, we out. We out of here. I think it's time for us to go back to Urt. Pretty sure. Time to go back to Urt. New message from Randy. Hey, there's an elevator in the hallway to the right of the room we were trapped in. You can get out of that way, but I might have broken the elevator when I use it, so I'll have to fix it first. Sorry about that. Yep. So do it fixed. Okay. There we go. Let's go! Right, now, I don't know if I got this last time, but there's a Chim Pokemon right there. Yeah, Chim Pokemon indeed. Pretty nifty. Can I attack this? No. Okay, that doesn't seem to do anything. Ice cream. All about that ice cream. Okay. Right. Hello. 
what's up with that? Hi, pilots. <laughs> Bring it on, pilots. What the heckles? I got a perfect block, doesn't that do something good? I think this I think we take that thing out first, right? Let's try it, eh? Oh wow, that did loads. Okay. Okay, bad blocking. Bad blocking is bad. You shut up. Oh my god. Right in between the two of them and give it a smack. What's it doing? Oh my goodness. Ha! I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, you saying? Okay, they've got they've got some health. They have got some health. Moo! Moo! We gained a PP for a block. Doing badly with the blocking though. I should have healed. I really should have healed. Okay. Now we heal. Now we absolutely heal. Give me some cookies. Give me some cookies! I should be focusing on one really, shouldn't I? Okay. Yeah, we should really be focusing on just the one of them. There we go. Look at that. Oh, not good. Okay, too early. Now. Hey, I got it. Hey, Copernicus. Hiya. What? You still got health? Damn it. Oh. Okay. Oh, I'm gone. We should, we should, uh, we should heal up. We should heal up. Yeah, we should. Okay. Now we give him a slap. Again. Moo. 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 Uh oh, here we go again. Okay, we got it. Which means we can hit this guy. We're... In fact, no, you know what? I'm going to save it for the jujitsu. Oh, no, they're immune. They're immune. They're immune. They're immune. They're immune. So, it's okay. It's okay. I'm sling of David in then. Moo. Moo. Nice. Okay, two more hits. Two more hits. Blocked it. One more hit, come on. Good. Here we go. Ooh, I thought I'd press that too early then, but I got him. Whew! Effort. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, do, do, do. Uh oh. Yes. At what location? How many people in the town? Get in there and cover it up. This could change everything. Get everyone moving. We've got another UFO crash. Another one. And another one. Oh, we're home. Woo! Oh, we got an upgrade available. Very nice. Very nice. Hope you play with us again today.
Uh, right. Inflicts attack down and upset, forcing enemies to target you without using special abilities. Just increases the damage. Yeah. Let's get that more powerful, shall we? Shall we? No, oh, another one from Randa? Wait. Oh, okay, I've already read them. I'm way ahead of your game. Way ahead of you. Let's go. Let us go. Where are we going today? Oh. oh my God. They came out of nowhere. There was a huge earthquake and then, and then there was burning in my yard. Didn't you hear about it? It's all over the news. Here, look. And that a large earthquake and several fires in the South Park area last night woke many residents from their sleep. Here with the report is a midget in a bikini. Tom, government workers here are assuring everyone nothing out of the ordinary has happened. They claim that the only reason huge tents have gone up to cover this area is to mask the construction of a new Taco Bell, which will open sometime later this month. Thanks, Midget. I do love me some Taco Bell. The mayor of South Park states that last night's tremors and fires are under control and that hopefully schools and businesses can open again soon. It's horrible. You don't understand. The elves, they took the stick. And it's bullshit because that is totally cheating. We specifically said no trying to take the stick at night. Elves are dirty little liars, and we have to lay waste to their entire base. You have some incredible ability to make friends quickly, Sir Douchebag. I'm sending you on a quest to go out into the lands of Zaron and recruit a whole nother faction to Koopa Keep. Find the goth kids and give them this letter. Get them to join our kingdom, and we shall lay waste to the drow elves once and for all. Fucking cheaters. Okay, then. Going for the goth kids. I would just come over and see if, well, if you wanted to come play with us again. Does that mean you're following it? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, is this the quickest way? I know where I'm going, but let me just check I'm going the quickest way. Yeah. Yes, it's a straight line. It's a straight line, Ibeza. You idiot. Yeah, we, uh, we speeding this up. Absolutely. Absolutely. Let's go. Nice. Yeah, let's not let's not show butters that. <laughs> I don't think he's ready. Be right back, guys. Just uh, seeing if there's anything else worth seeing around here. Oh, there really isn't. Who's that? I think it's that new kid people are talking about. Beat it, new kid. This area is strictly for goth kids. What's this? Join the kingdom of Koopa Keep to battle the wicked elves. All recruits welcome. Sorry, Frodo. We don't play dungeons and douchebags. Yeah, beat it, new kid. Ah, oh, come on. Let's do it. We never do anything. No way. We can't do what this kid asks us to do. He's a conformist. Look at his clothes and his hair. Yeah, I'll tell you what. <laughs> yeah. Get the right clothes and some cigarettes and coffee and then talk to us again. Yeah, if you want to prove you aren't a conformist, then you need to look exactly like we do. Then maybe we'll consider hanging out with you. I'm such a conformist. <laughs> I look just like every other kid, right? Uh, I'm not going to bother with the elves. Find some so cigarettes. Out at the public storage. I'm not going back there. Buy goth clothes. Give me that money. No, oh, we can't go in there. Um, maybe I should have used the uh, quick travel, fast travel. Where do I get cigarettes from? You know what, let's just, let's just find out. Let's just jump into it. Jimbo's guns. Oh, I'm gone. So we go up here. Uh, actually, I think it's like at the very top of, on the very top they level, isn't it? Sure, it's got treasure, but they say Shut up. No one ain't listening to you. Huh. 
To Jimbo's. Oh, this money, money. Yeah, yeah. Just stole a fresh pack. Not the girl kind again. Oops. Get lost, kid. We're trying to smoke here. I'm just gonna fight them. I'm not even talking to them. Fighting them. Oh Christ! What a pickle. Yeah. Oh Christ! What a pickle. Jeebus. Oh. Right, don't block. Don't block, I have a plan. Okay, good. Done some damage to him. Um... I got all the time in the world, bitch. Wow. Language. Oh. Oh, I was stunned, so, of course. Nice. Nearly. Oh. Um, but is it down? Okay. Now we play ball. Stunned and I'm shielded. Beautiful. Nice. Nice. Ah, oh, you know what? We don't Make need. I am doing. Don't you worry. <laughs> Oh, too early. Okay. Okay. Okay, right. So, bit of health would be good. We've got more of them. Nice. I'm gonna, um... I got all the time in the world, bitch. Have you now? See how much time you got after this? Yeah! <laughs> oh, this ain't good for you, boy. <laughs> oh, damn it. Nice! There we go. That should be a trophy. Pretty sure. That's why I let butts go down. There it is. Look at that. I let him go down tactically. Three enemies in one battle while your buddy was knocked out. Yeah, I did. Yes, I did. Very nice. Okay. Uh, where are we going now? Where do we go now? Doink. 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 Doink the clown. Hee ho hee ho. Uh, we want tweet coffee bros. Bros? I don't think we want tweet coffee bros. Company. Co. That's the one. Okay. Yeah, okay. We want to be in this corner of the map for this mission. So let's go over there. Let's go over yonder. So I'll give you some goth clothes. How much money I got? Okay. Goth clothes, goth cap, goth gloves. Nice. Uh, 
There we go. And now we just need to go to to coffee shop. <laughs> Which of our local Yeah, just shut up and give me some coffee. Ah oh, that's good. But we want that, don't we? Hey there he is, new kid! New kid! The Elf King has requested your presence. You can either come quietly, or you can fight. But I warn you, fighting this fight at this point in the game is a complete waste of time, and you might as well skip it and just come with us. You yeah, wisely, fair Nick. point. Come with us. Fair point. I think I fought them last time, so I thought I'd click differently this time. You know, just to see if anything different happened. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a few of you then, is there? <laughs> the music's actually in the game, or at least the drum is. So, you're the new kid everyone is talking about. What's your name? It no, doesn't matter what your name is. Hot shit or something. You're playing for the wrong side, dude. What did Wizard Fatass tell you? That we broke the rules and took the stick last night? He's lying. Cartman is the one you should be fighting against. He's hiding the stick, which is cheating, and acting all betrayed and sad to get you to recruit more people for him. We tracked a Twitter raven who says you are currently trying to recruit the gods for the wizard. Go recruit them, but bring them to us. Then we can ransack Carmen's stupid kingdom and get the stick back once and for all. I'm trusting you to do what's right. And kid, if you betray us, we'll tell everyone you're a butthole. Oh. Oh, nice. Bring our best ranger to help guide you. The bard is also at your disposal now. Who's this guy? Oh, I'm gone. Yeah, boy. So I guess we can just use this now to get to the goth kids. Beautiful. Fast travel is my friend. Oh, Stan, you should be familiar with these guys. Oh, Joy, it's Butthole the Barbarian from the Dungeons of Dumbass. You gotta admit, he looks better. Yeah, he's almost a goth. Being goth isn't just how you dress, it's a frame of mind. It's time for you to prove that you go against society's rules. Yeah. There's a big PTA meeting happening right now at the community center. You need to walk right into the middle of that meeting and tape this sign to their table. Yeah, that will prove your individuality. Go on, beat it, and don't come back until you have a picture of that sign taped to the PTA table. Right then. Defy the rules of society. It's my quest now. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I I think it's only like over here. I think it's this building that I couldn't get in before. It's my money stand, don't you try and steal it? I think I'll wait it out. Whoa, dude. Taco Bell is being built, and now our children are missing precious school time! Parents, we've been assured by the builders that they're working to fix whatever problems they've encountered, and school should be able to resume soon. Resume soon? Who do they think they are? They think we're gonna see a, a Taco Bell as being more important than our kids' education? What if it's not really a Taco Bell we're dealing with? Thanks for coming, new kid. Everyone? This is the kid whose family just moved to town. We've become very close friends. His name is... What's your name? <laughs> well, anyway, this child and I witnessed something last night, and I'd like you to hear his story. Go ahead, kid. Tell them, you know, about all the... Go ahead, tell them, tell them that stuff. This is a waste of everyone's time. If the PTA isn't going to do something about Taco Bell taking over, then the rest of us parents will. Come, Come on! Yeah, no. Come on! A 
I'm loving the silent protagonist digs. Well, look, I know how you're feeling, okay? But this isn't going to solve anything. We've got to get inside that Taco Bell and find out what's really going on. Help me with that, and I'll help you with this. I saw you on the ship. You have pretty good control over your farts. Meet me in the bathroom. It's time for you to learn some real power. Pretty gross, new kid. That's something I'd expect from the kindergartner's young man. I don't care. Not one little bit. I can tell you have potential <laughs> if you are undisciplined. Let me show you what I mean. Come at me. Try and fart on me. Come on. Kia! You call that farting on someone? You missed by a mile. Try again. What the? Kia! You call that farting on someone? Oh my god, I'm stuck in a loop. <laughs> You call that I don't know what he's asking of me. Do I have to keep moving it down? Oh, okay. You call that farting on someone? You missed by Try again. Oh, okay. There we go. See that? Your fart's over there somewhere. Didn't come close. So, what do you do when people can block your farts? Okay, his weird toes. You must learn... To control your farts to move and release at a specific time and place. I'm going to teach you a fart called the Sneaky Squeaker. It will become your greatest ally. Don't believe me? Try and block my attack. <laughs> See that? I distracted you. Distracting your opponents is key to battle. Look, let me show you again. Pay special attention to the viscosity. Yeah, stop punching and kicking a child in a ba in a public toilet, dude. Is that okay? okay? You try it. Make your fart detonate behind me. Oh, hey guys. Oh, Mr. Mackey. Now it's your turn. Mm -hmm. Use Sneaky Squeaker to distract Mr. Mackey over to the corner there. Okay. Hey, did you guys hear that? Sounded like a chipmunk. Kick <laughs> off! Very good. Now use what I taught you to sneak inside that Taco Bell. Find out what they're up to and report back here. And no matter what happens, never fart on anyone's balls. You got that? All right. Now go. No, I want to. Oh, I wanted to loot Mr. Mackey. Oh. Can't loot him. Just a bit in Pokemon now. Go for my good guy. Good guy. Good guy. <laughs> okay, right. Okay. So, uh, this is the end of that episode. Of this episode, for sure. Once I get a little uh, teddy bear loading screen. Loading if you signal. A friend, Jimbo will waive the waiting period for handguns. <laughs> good to know. So yeah, we're going to make our way over there, but basically as soon as we get a little uh, teddy bear on screen, that's... <laughs> oh, there we go. So, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.